Taylor. I'm a voice actor in from New York City, and I've worked on a lot of different things, uh, Pokemon being, I suppose, the main one, playing Ash and May and Ash's mom and a couple of Pokemon. I've also done um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, some things on Yu-Gi-Oh! I do some things for PBS, some kids programs, a lot of different, you know, animated things. So. I don't know what you want to talk about, so why don't we start it off by, if you have a question, raise your hand, I'll come out, and we can just get it rolling from there. Okay, here we go. I crossed the page. <laughs> okay, what is your question? What is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. Hands down. <laughs> How did you get into voice acting? Uh, well, well, this is safe. Okay, I'm a free range actor right now. Um, I always wanted to be an actor, and so I um, uh, basically, I did whatever I could acting wise. I studied at university, I went to graduate school, I was in shows since I was five years old. Um, I always did workshops, I did anything I could do. I did dance, I played soccer, I took singing lessons, I, anything I could do, and then Voice acting just kind of came out of an audition that I did, that I happened to get into one thing which led to something else, which led to Pokemon and led to other um, anime, things like that. And uh, it just happens that most of the work I do right now is voice related. My daughter is little, fairly little, not as little as she used to be. And so uh, for me, voice acting has been a wonderful thing because it's fairly flexible and I can still pick her up from school and try to get work in, and uh, so I've been quite lucky to have work that's been flexible like that, and that I really love. What's your favorite character to voice? Um, I played Ash, and I love playing Ash because I love his energy and how positive he is, and to be a 10-year-old boy for eight years was a really wonderful thing. <laughs> um, I also loved, at the same time I was doing Amelia on Slayers, and she has a very, very high voice. Um, she's crazy positive as well, but doing a voice that high <clears throat> kind of gives you a little bit of a head rush in a way. So to be able to come from, uh, come on, Pikachu, let's go, to, oh, this is great, and just kind of leaving the studio with kind of in a dizzy, uh, excited way was really wonderful for me. Um, I also played Yukino on His and Her Circumstances, and um, that was another one of my favorite parts because she was basically a normal high school girl who ranged from extremely happy to extremely angry to extremely, I don't know, everything. Um, and I think we all have that in ourselves and she portrayed it in each episode. So I like the range of that. Coming over. I'm coming. I can really go all the way back. This is exciting. Okay. What's your third favorite type of rice? My third favorite type of rice. Brown would be first. Jasmine second. I'm gonna go wild. Is that good? Okay. What's my the oddest question I've ever been asked? That. <laughs> um, yes. My favorite episode of Pokemon? Um, there were many episodes, so in a way I can't remember a specific one, but the parts that I really liked were, A, I love the battles. I love fighting, because I don't fight in my real life. And secondly, I love all of those, um, those tender moments that Ash has with Pikachu, and when they really, you can see them bonding as friends. Um, hey, buddy. You know those? I, that's what I really loved a lot. Um, there has been, <clears throat> um, there has been big you, the news on the internet recently is about the Nokia based Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles recently about them being aliens. Uh, what's your stance on that? That the turtles were actually aliens? Well, I haven't read that, and this is the first I've heard of it. But that would be awesome. <laughs> um, that they were spawned out of the sludge that they were born in. That's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I'm gonna hope that's true. But I didn't, I've never heard of that before. I wish April were an alien, so she had more to do on the show, I think. <laughs> Anyone over here, since I've had my back to you? Yes? Oh, 
uh, obviously you've uh, what it's, uh, you you talked about Pikachu um, and all, all those episodes of of voice and the guy that was the companion. Did you ever actually meet the uh, voice actress or Pikachu? No, I've never been to Japan, and I do think that the woman who plays Pikachu is probably one of the most talented people ever, because to be able to put so much emotion into just the word Pika, um, and you can listen, I've listened to like almost the whole episode just listening to Pikachu, and she never sounds the same throughout the whole thing, so I think she's quite remarkable, but I've never had the opportunity to meet her. I thought, I had a feeling that might not happen, it's, it's strange, man. No, we never really see anyone who, the problem with doing something that's done in Japan and then comes here, we're just in our little studio working on it and I barely even see any other actors because we work one at a time on everything. So you would go in and you just go your line to your line to your line. And so you would see the other actors just as you're passing by in the hall or something. Um, but no, I would love to, I'd love to go to Japan, but I'd love to meet especially the actress who plays Pikachu. Yeah. Just to follow on from that, isn't it hard to do your parts when you haven't got anything else to relate to? How do you do that? Um, well, the, I think it is hard. Part of what you have to do is you develop a skill, I suppose, of skimming through the, you have the script in front of you, so you can see what the lines are written down, but you don't get the script ahead of time. So you skim down and kind of figure out what the characters are saying before you, what the gist of the scene is, and then you're watching the screen and then kind of going. And then you just kind of put it in and you say, you know, I feel like, for instance, for Ash, I, he would probably say it like this, but the lip flap is totally different. So then you have to switch it. That's where, the, of course, the director is, um, you really need a director to say, actually, the scene doesn't have that kind of energy. It's different. And everybody pulls it together. But it is really hard because you're, you're guessing. And when you have the luxury of doing a series for so long, then you kind of understand how the character would act. So I can guess how, let's say, Ash would say a certain line more quickly by season three than I could in season one, you know. But it is kind of a, a guessing game. But, you know, I've done, I've been an actor my whole life, so in a way, you that's what you learn in acting school, is how to judge what the uh, objective is right away, so you're kind of, because you're reading the lines, you're filling the lip flap, and you're acting at the same time. So, which is why I think for a lot of people who say, um, I want to be a voice actor, what should I do? I think acting classes really help a lot because then you don't have to think about the acting part, you're just doing it, you know? So, yeah. Uh, what, what would you say was the hardest role for you to play? The hardest role? Um, I think for with Pokemon, in the beginning we auditioned for it. Um, and I, was, I auditioned probably four times, and then I was cast, and then I was uncast, because they decided they were going to use a real child, and then I was cast again, and then we, uh, we did the first episode, and then we did the first episode maybe five times. So in a way, that was the hardest part to play, because no one would relax and just let you do it. And that's why even the voice of Ash shifted during the first season as we were finally able to, um, between myself, the engineer, and the director, find out who Ash was and let it just kind of go. But in the beginning, there were so many cooks in the kitchen that um, we couldn't just do it. And I think Ash is a character that, uh, he really comes from the heart. And so you have to really just jump into him and be him. And I think it was the hardest to for them to be able to let me just do that. And everyone was very nervous about it being a girl voicing Ash and you know all of this stuff. So in a way that was the hardest, to be able to just be allowed to play it. Um, I think evil characters probably are second for me. <laughs> Hi. I've got two questions. What's it like to be Ash Ketchum? I mean, sorry, what's it like to see loads of people 